Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having some fun digging what we're doing, we'd appreciate it if you'd uh, give us some thumbs up. Take a moment to do that right here at the beginning. Get ready. Smash. Perfect. Thank you guys. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're smashing those buttons. Click that bell and get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And that's really handy because when we uh, go live, you guys go to notification and you can slide right into our comment section, check out the video and interact with Scott and I as we do our uh, we do our daily show now titled Heading Back to the Window. So make sure you check that out at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern each and every day. Tomorrow, going to be a fun day. We're going to do our regular show there in the afternoon and immediately following it. We are going to do our college preview show for the first time. We are going to be doing that live, baby. So make sure you check that out. I doubt if anybody has a couple hours to spend with us, but do uh, do stop by and ask us some questions. If you have any uh, comments or uh, any games you want us to take a look at, happy to do that. So, uh, And, of course, we want to know what you're playing. Put those plays in uh, the comment section, whatever you got cooked up. You got a little... Uh, you got a little college football, you got a little NBA, a little hockey, a little soccer, whatever you got. Make sure you put those plays in there. Hey, maybe a baseball play, right, from the Houston Red Sox game. Whatever you put in, whatever you got, put those in there. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. And you get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. Well, quick recap of yesterday's action, guys, on the play of the day. We uh, took the over, did a little zigging when everybody else zagged, and all the fucking zaggers were right. No room for a zig right there, guys. As that Denver offense, holy shit, were they bad. Uh, they had one nice drive there to start the second half, and other than that, they looked like fumble fuck Johnson out there. Uh, Cleveland, for their part, you know, they came out with a real nice drive. Stefanski, five plays, all really well scripted. Next drive was good. They got a field goal out of it. And then they're like, yeah, you know what? We're good. We'll just play a little defense for a while and uh, kind of see what happens. So not a lot of help on either side, although I think if it would have been a more competitive game, I think Cleveland would have been able to, uh, you know, roust up seven more points there. But didn't need them, didn't have them. So uh, as far as the premium goes, we split. We had the Cleveland Browns minus the two points. Easy victory there. Um, and we had um, Louisiana over 44. What a dreadful performance that was a uh, by that by that team. Um, just just weird. Their their defense wasn't that good. Their offense wasn't that good. I know it's weird to say that they they rushed for like four hundred and twenty yards or whatever, and the rushing attack wasn't wasn't on. They averaged eight yards a carry, rushed for four hundred twenty yards. But here's the deal: two of those rushes were for what was was seventy four was one and ninety nine was another. Other than that, they were weirdly inefficient at times. Like the Red Wolves were able to get some big stops on third down and keep them from driving down the field, which is exactly what we need. You know, we knew we were in trouble. Uh, second drive, first drive, they went three and out. You know, well, that's not good when you're trying to get to 44. Second drive, they get it at midfield, go right down the field, stall out inside the five, couldn't get anything. We're like, yeah, we're fucked. And we were. So that's a one and one there. Of course, we hit the farm play. We did have Johnson over 59 and a half yards. <laughs> that was a solid play. We won that one by the end of the first half. Ended up going for over 100. And I actually had a uh, a little side play. I had Johnson over 100 yards, Browns to win at plus 285. So that was a nice payday for yours truly. And we'll put that on the list of shit that no one cares about. So um, with that being said, let's take a look and see what we got cooked up for tonight. Now, you know... It's always fantastic when you're trying to get YouTube views. You want to put the good games up there, the ones that people are interested in. You know how to get a ton of views on YouTube? Let's put up a pick from the Middle Tennessee State UConn game. That's right. Guys, I can't help it. Um, I just, I like, I like this play. And you're going to hate me. And I guarantee you, almost nobody's going to tell me. Um, we are going to play UConn. Plus 15 and a half. All right, now let's just get it out of the way. UConn is an awful football team. I've roasted them all season. We faded them on many occasions. They won their first game in almost two years last week against Yale. So, yay. Uh, they have, As far as the season goes, they've lost to UMass by two TDs. And they lost to Vandy in a game that you could have gone to for a dollar. That's literally true. You know, they put the price tags up, the prices of the games. 
uh, on ESPN, the cheapest ticket. It was literally a dollar and people wanted a refund. So that's how bad that game was. Um, you know, but here's the deal. Sports betting, not always about picking the winners. It's about picking value. And after getting outscored by 104 points in their first three weeks, the market overcorrected with UConn and, uh, it allowed them to beat the number in four of their last five after that three-game slide to start the season, uh, including good performance against Miami, uh, to Wyoming when they lost by two as a 34-and-a-half-point dog. Meanwhile, Middle Tennessee is in the middle of their own shitty season. Uh, they can't run the ball to save their lives. They're 122nd in the country. They put up 14 or less in three of their four road games. Blue Raiders, they have just uh, one win and one cover against an FBS school this season. And uh, their uh, their starter that started the season, Bailey Hawkman, was having so much fun that he quit the program after the first three games. Said, yeah, I've had about enough of this. Uh, if the Huskies can mount enough offense to, keep, to put a couple points on the board and hold on to the ball long enough to keep their defense from getting gas late in the game, they probably won't get the win. They should have a real good chance to get another cover. They're uh, fifth in their last six games. Give me the Yukon Huskies <laughs> plus 15 and a half. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys. Uh, you guys know how I did. Let's see how y'all did yesterday. First of all, I had a comment. Somebody asked me, is this, can we post the video uh, when we're done so everybody will have access to it? And we do that. So as soon as it's over, the entire video <clears throat> should be up there ready to rock and roll. So you can uh, you can download it and check it out on your le at your leisure, just like any of the other videos that we put up there. So cool. And I hope you guys do that. Again, don't forget to subscribe because if you're like me, you're like, oh shit, that's been on for 45 minutes. I wanted to listen to that. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. And if you're already a subscriber and you haven't hit the bell yet, make sure you do that and get notified when we put the videos up. Okay. So as far as you guys go, Eric Carrillo went one and one. He got juiced. Uh, Steven, the Godfather, Godin, playing a couple of uh, player props, went one and one plus 100. Super Sly, 32, going two and one plus 100. Brandon Zerfus going one and oh plus 750. Very nicely done. Uh, Doc Brown, I was just... Uh, I need a late result for Doc. See what uh, see if we've got a final on do, 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 on the UNLV game and and do, 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 sorry guys, uh, Doc Brown. Ooh, couldn't quite get there. So Doc Brown goes two and three. Sorry, Doc. Uh, Bronco Devil. He goes one and zero oh, plus five hundred. He had the Atlanta LA over. Nicely done there, brother. Uh, Chris Hova. 1-0, plus 1150. He had a, a two-team parlay. Nice job, Chris. Max Garcia going 1-0, plus 500. He had the Cleveland Browns minus the two. But your capper of the day out there playing in the hacky. Taking a couple of puck lines, guys. Laying the one and a half. Little two-teamer. And it's Jay Seaton going 1-0, plus 3560. That would play plus 712. Nicely done, Jay. Congratulations, Jay Seaton, plus 3560. That ought to do it. And it does. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Well done. And well done to the rest of you, man. Nice day out there for Thursday. Let's keep it rolling. Let's go right into the weekend. Have a little fun, make a little money tonight. All right, you guys, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Don't forget to check us out tomorrow. Comment. Talk to us in real time. We're having a lot of fun. Make sure you stop by and check that out. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you. Later today.